Stop right there, criminal scum! Nobody breaks. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Too easy. But so far proving elusive and fine, okay, winning the battle back up against the Leviathans. Jarkor already put down, and so much of the DPS for the Leviathans already lost. So fine, okay, keeps up the aggression. Hurrowind able to find Julio and Shinto just running for his life. If Panatom had a chance to get Sam, that window has closed. He's got to come back to the boys and help out because they're in danger of losing the game. Shinto been removed. To it. I think I might do my lifesteal build on Kerberkin. I wanted to try it. I was thinking about trying it in general anyway, so I might as well do it this game. I don't know what I'm against. It could be AMC solo. Um, it's most likely AMC solo, but who knows? Who freaking knows? Definitely go blink. Yo, little African, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the Fonza family. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. How good would Bologna be S to D if she gained CC meter on her slam for a hammer? She would Big pogs. be... Thanks for making sure I don't throw any off rolling ranked. Got Honestly, a hashtag Jazzberry on them. She might be pretty dang good. Uh, that change actually might make her pretty dang good. Because then you could always max her two in lane and always guarantee it. And so a lot of damage. She'd probably be... She'd probably be S. And then you could also use it for like C random CC immunities to immune things. You maybe go some CDR as well so you can spam it. You know who it is. Thank you for the four months in a row of the Twitch Prime, man. Welcome back to the Fonza family. Much appreciated, dude. I guess I'll go Tremors. Oh, we got the minion. Let's go. How's it going? Good luck in SPA tomorrow. I gotta play against shit like AMC solo all the time. Mirlin, thank you for the eight months in a row. Welcome back to the Fonzo family. I appreciate the good luck as well. Hopefully we won't need it, but... Oh, I saw MI1. That's pretty cool. I didn't think I would. No, it doesn't. Wow. Enemies in the right jungle. gotta play back because uh said enemies in the right jungle no shot he just gets out of range and then my loki dies why did my loki die there I, th I don't think it would be bad, King Crimson. I think that'd be good. If you're in a solo, what's your next favorite role? Lately, it's been mid. Mid's fun. I mean, it's been the most fun for me. I might be able to kill this guy if he comes to gank. I'll have ult off the wave. Easy baits, boys. Too easy.
That's why they call me that one thing. You guys know what you know what they call me, right? About baiting. Good set solo build with starter and what ability you go for it. Uh, you max your one. Start your one, max your one. Um, I would just go bluestone because bluestone's OP. You could also mess around with Eye of the Jungle or Tainted if they have any healing. I could work on him, but for the most part, yeah, you just go go bluestone because bluestone is kind of mandatory. And I'm against the Tank Boots AMC. That's kind of what just should just happen against an AMC solo. We should gank him again, honestly. Gank him again. I have blink and ult. Yes. Okay. I'll attack right lane. Ultimate is ready. Yes. <laughs> I have a neat support. Lugan's playing neat support. Okay. This could work. Expert baiter, grandmaster baiter, the great baiter. No, 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 guys. Careful, careful. Careful with your word choice here. Get broken. Honestly. He is. That's why I'm gonna play him in SPL tomorrow. Ultimate is ready. Okay. No, you fine. No, you fine. Let's say my two, my one, everything. I'll attack. Enemy miss. Enemy missing. Yes. Attack. Oh, that was a bad ult. <laughs> that was a bad ult, but I, I'm just thinking he's literally always gonna die there, so I'm kind of not even like ulting the greatest. Just doing it for damage. Maybe we back for 2 2 breastplate here. Might as well, since we got the golds for it, and that's a nice little power spike for your boy. A little mana sustain for the Cabrokin, who's mana hungry. A little 35 physical prot for this AMC. Poor guy. No, you shouldn't ever feel bad. You guys, all these guys saying poor AMC. Why you guys, you guys are feel bad for somebody who's playing tank boots, bluestone AMC solo? Can't get cringer than that, honestly. The only problem with these knee thults is that it's going to be, they're not going to hit for anything. Because it's a knee support and he's got tank boots. A little damage check. Hit the wave. Oh, put a point in the tremor so it does more damage. Get these minions in here. He missed his ult. See you later, alligator. Except you're a bee, not an alligator. Good one. You know what's cool about this as well is that they have an arachne jungle and I can just one away from his spiders. So they kind of have no gank potential on me. Remember when you had Artemis solo? I do. I do be remembering that though. Did he beads? I wonder if he beads. Nobody tell me in chat. I'm not gonna look. I don't think he did, but... I can actually sustain a lot here with purple boots in my... My vamp shroud. See? I get a nice amount of sustain back. Try and kill some of these hives at least. Even though it's... You can have eight of them out now, right? And they're... On a really low cooldown. I will never play smite again. Oh, he definitely will. I wonder if I kill here. Probably don't. I'll just back for my breastplate. Grab a regular ward as well. Definitely want to try and get your power spikes as soon as possible. From ahead and from behind, just so you can... If you're ahead, you can keep abusing, abusing your lead, and if you're behind, then you won't get abused as hard if you get your power spike sooner.
I would never financially recover from this. <laughs> you think it's fun? The financials are on the line here. He's actually just gonna eat my tremors almost always. I wonder if I should just max them. No cap. Get him, Blugan. I'm not gonna rotate to that. Probably just walk away. Waddle away, if you will. So to do my own blue here. It's actually kind of hard to punish um, characters like this without ganks because they can just sit under their tower and folk clear the way. Maybe on his blue right now. Guy's probably dead again. Nice try. We can just group up and fight them if they're trying to come over here. <laughs> Hit him with the roar. I don't know if I should go Voidstone in this game because they have a Janus. Usually I go Voidstone into Typhons with this build. Also, I'm not going to kill this tower. kind of want this tower to be alive. I don't want him to zone me at the tier 2. As a, as a mage like that. Although, eh, I guess it's debatable. It's debatable. We could have that debate whether it's worth it to kill at this point. Did I say Ansel? Voidstone. I didn't say Ansel, did I? Oh, you're saying I should go in, Sal. I guess the tower's gonna die either way here. Got shifters now. A bit tankier. His blue's up after mine. Maybe I just go binding into the rest of my build. Considering I uh, don't really need a ton of magical defense. Um, I'm so tanky to this guy. It's so troll. Ah, uh, that uh, should be good. <laughs> no way they're not doing this blue. Where'd they go? What the heck? They just left. Okay, don't mind if I do. What if we just went horrific here? Might be the play. I'm just gonna go horrific. They have double ADC. Blink horrific's kind of nice. Not having beads is, I think, perfectly fine this game. It's just Jing Ten Ult that I have to worry about. This AMC, I think, has decided to just not beads anything. What do you recommend they change about Bluestone just passenger for what? Just revert the power they gave to it. The base of it. Good luck with the game. Much love from South Africa. South Africa, little Africa, thank you so much for the 10 buckaroos, man. All the way from over there, and you're watching little old me. 
Much appreciated though, dude. Thank you with the thank you for the the dono and the good lucks. So I have a pretty big lead. I should definitely start trying to transition it. Although on her is just ahead as me somehow. He has one kill. I have four. Yet he's actually ahead of me in gold, dude. ADC is such a broken roll. That's Janus Blink. That's his beads. He's gonna be in right. This might not be the greatest ever. I'm just tremoring this. Can't get to your portal, buddy! <laughs> Tremor this boy. Hello, Jing Ten. Oh no, he knocked it up. Maybe I can kill him still. Please get these spiders off of me. Kakolan Spider Man skin? That'd be nice. You think it'd be best on Kakolan, though? There might be another character it would be good on. Mickey, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, man. Welcome back to the Father Family for 20 months. Can we get some hype in the chat for Mickey and Frosty Circle with the five gifted subs? Welcome everybody to the, to the Fonzo family. I almost said the Frosty family. I guess it could be the Frosty family with the way Frosty dropping them subs. I appreciate it. Isn't it crazy this guy's died six times? I just rotated and helped my team out. I have five kills and he's only 1k down. This might so dog shit. No offense. MC as Ansile. He's quite tanky. My bullies are coming back up. That's his beads. Oh. Damn it. They may try and rotate over here. Both AMC actives. Both AMC actives. I just realized I have a blood rate on my team though. And a blood rate's a good ADC, so we have a chance this game. I thought we might get ADC diff by Yarkor, but honestly, the blood rate's keeping up with them. They're literally tied. He might be a little bit behind in XP, if anything. I have my Typhons now though. So yeah, this is the build chat. And then you go uh, Blood Soak Shroud. You could also maybe go Sacrificial Shroud. I can maybe do that in Cabracken. Kind of makes sense on him, specifically. Specifically, Ocean. Um, did he actually get his back off? Oh, I fucked it up. Oh, I could. Oh, okay. Curses. <laughs> I tried to hit my blink one. They'll be able to kill Jing Ten at least. The, the pre blink one as it is. I kind of want to gank this on her. I have a rift for him. Thing. They have this warded. They have that warded. Alright, we're gonna go spectral. Spectral, and then I think we'll actually go sacrificial this time around. You get a little bit less lifesteal because the uh, the passive of Blood Soak gives you lifesteal, which in turn gives you a little bit less damage for the Typhons, but it's definitely comparable to like 25 power. And you get 25 power from sacrificial, 25 extra, so. Um, definitely worth, I think, trying that. Got my blue again. Unforged. I'm just trying to rotate, try and impact the game. I can maybe sell my boots for Polly in this build. Give me a little bit more lifesteal damage. No cap.
Kind of sucks not having Blue as Kabrak and kind of a mana hungry god. I doubt this AMC does enough damage to damage me through my lifesteal. He kind of does if I just sit there and tank him, but... And I ran out of minions. A year. Love you. Hughes, thank you so much for the year-long resub. Welcome back to the Fonzo family. Can we get some hype in the chat for that? Not only that, but a common pleb plebeian. Thank you for the tier one sub. Welcome to the Fonzo family as well. Thank you, thank you. When you were on a pale and said, don't you... Wait, I didn't, I didn't see what it said, that the chat, it went up too quickly. Oh, that's in Forge. So close. He just portal me. <laughs> Be careful. That's some damage, isn't it? So there's a little trick you can do with blink, guys. If you you can blink in the middle of your auto attack animation to make sure that they don't juke your uh, your shit at all. I did it just now to that Janus. Oh, he goes that way. Oh, I thought he was gonna Janus ult us in. Get him obliterate. Oh! Obliterate just soloed your core. Holy. And that's not just one of those meaningless solo kills. It, we're like literally 20 minutes in. That's game winning solo kill right there. Guess we'll do this so we can get this. Even though Spectral might be a little bit better, I'd rather just try this a little bit sooner. So weird, guys. Like, you get Vamp Shroud gives you 10 physical prep and then prot, and then you get the upgraded and it gives you 20. A whopping 20. You get double. They're like, you get double the prots when you upgrade it. Literally 20 prots. So true. Do we need to pause? Group up. Attack the Gold Fury. We gotta be careful of them like sneaking a fire with Arachne and double ADC. For sure. Alright, we got a pause going here. Okay, instantly unpause. I, uh. I can get away with this super greedy ass build just because they have a Janus as their mage, so. Magical defense is not really needed because he cannot kill tanks. I can you can just kind of avoid his damage and uh you know he wants to be diving the backline with his ult and stuff. I'm gonna hover over right just to make sure they don't pull fire and it doesn't look like they're defending gold at all, so I don't really have to be there. Just wanna hover around here. We got Janus ult. Janus doesn't have beads. Got hit by the Janus too. It does hit hard when he hits it, but... Oh, just horrific on accident. Maybe kill this Janus. Uh, if the Moriti was still on him, no shot. Good. That's Janus ult. <laughs> what the heck? That was such a bad fight. I don't know why my team tried to dive him under their tier two. No. That was so bad. We did not want to stay for that. 351 power. Not too shabby. Yes. 
Do I have blink here? Oh, they go real fire. We should be good on it. Although they will eventually kill me. On my way. Okay. No, you're fine. Watch out. Holy cow! 196 per tick with my tremors. Not too shabby. 20 HP away from dying to Jink Dot. Yeah, it's true. Maybe th this man is actually starting to hit me because he. I I don't know. In a real fight, it shouldn't work like that, though, so. Should be good. Don't give up. All right, Heim is back in. We are going to need him to be here. The left wave is pretty far pushed up. That's a little bit concerning. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how this, this fight's going to go. It's good, Electric Rubber Ducky. How are you? Oh, it's after I end my three that I get the sacrificial shroud thing. Okay. They just use so much on me, man. Just fight around and obliterate. Oh my goodness, Obliterate. You have such a huge cock. Oh my goodness, he's hitting hard. Oh my... I'm telling you guys, Obliterate's got the biggest, juiciest member I've ever seen. I told you, I, I said this game might be hard until I saw that Obliterate was my ADC matched up against Yarkor. And I was like, we got this in the bag. Good that my team uh, followed up on that. I think that was a really bad engage by them just to full commit everything on me. And I barely, like, I I think I could have lived actually if I got my abilities off. Because I would have life, I, would, I wouldn't have, I, I probably would have died eventually, but I would have life stole. Life stole. I would have stolen some of their lives to get some health back and probably lived for a little bit longer and it would have been even a better fight, but I didn't get my abilities off. And I think that was probably because I kind of just didn't click them. Put them on team, for real. Do you think you have enough life to do such house for centuries at this point? Oh, for sure, but I'm not gonna. They're on their red. They were on the red. We might be maybe could have set up an ambush on it. Yes. A witch play might have been decent this game as well. Yeah, Toilet Clyer, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the Father family. Much appreciated. I don't know sacri you know what's actually lame about the sacrificial stuff is that I click three and watch. After I stop, it drops the health. So I like, I don't even heal the damage that I use for my three because it does it afterwards. You know what's a non-bow with Sacrificial Shroud, by the way, is building a lot of health because then your Sacrificial Shroud will just hit yourself harder. That's pretty funny, right? You don't want to build health with Sacrificial is what I'm saying. Four here. Lots I of might be able to one shot this Janus. Kick some booty this season. I got hit by bees, unfortunate. Got hit by bees, but I need to hit them with D's. That's the thing. Atlas, thanks for the year long summit. Welcome back to the Father Family. Much appreciated. And Jay Smith, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the Father Family. Keeps putting me in combat. It's honestly lame. We have a Loki in mid. I kind of want to go on these guys. Get 
Oh my god, that damage. Did you guys see it? Did you guys see that damage? What the? Yo, they're using everything on me. They want they want me. If I got my, my two off on Yarkor there, oh, he would have died probably. I need a heal, dude. I don't want to use my three because I'm just gonna use take more damage. Oh my god! I almost <laughs> imagine if I died from my own sacrificial. That's actually not possible, but you can't kill yourself with sacrificial. Watch. So you didn't do it. That is unfortunate. Don't be here, Rackney. Seriously, do not be here. Nice. Okay. Do I just go Witchblade here? Maybe not. How many SW would you trade point. your firstborn for? Some what? <laughs> All, I would trade every single one of my firstborns. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Unless. Uh, Stone of Foul, dude. So I might be nice, but I uh, maybe next patch when it's buffed. We'll just do that, and then we'll go. Yes. Screw it, dude. We're doing that. Even though I'm slow immune to my one, I don't care. This build's fine. Even though I'm slow immune to my one, I uh, you got to think about it like this. You, if your one is down, then you're gonna be immune with wing blade. And then if your one's up, you're gonna be immune. So you're just always immune. You're just literally always immune. It's firstborn, your firstborn child is what it means. Get your first kid. The sacrificial shroud is actually horrible, by the way. I should have gone blood soaked. They both kind of suck, to be fair. Both aren't that great. Oh, he hit the combo. Ansile just freaking destroying me. <laughs> that Ansile just made me sit there for a second, consider my really life Really looking forward to seeing Kabrakan tomorrow in the solo lane. Oh, you're gonna see it, Clutes. Thank you for the 15 months in a row, man. Welcome back to the Fonzo family. I appreciate it. What about Anubis? He's an exception. The, the items aren't horrible like on certain characters, but just... The thought process behind these items for Guardian Solos that need sustain, like, it just doesn't make sense late game, I think. They should maybe do something a little bit different. They could be here on me, but I don't even care. I'll just 1v7 them. It kind of sucks that I'm just life stealing before the my yes. sacrificial pops. It's actually, it doesn't just kind of suck, it's kind of horrible. Oh my gosh, man, I hit hard. Okay. Ah, that's unfortunate. Blinkton ult trying to ult me again. That's too bad. This is beads. I'm just tremoring the Titan. Forge. I thought we might have been able to end there. Apparently not. I was gonna sell my boots for Polly. Maybe I should have done that. Maybe I sell this for Polly. Sure. Somehow I have enough power because I have enhanced in red buff. 
Somehow I have enough power to make Polly kind of worth it. Uh, oh, cancel that. I want to get rid of this sacrificial shroud, though, dude. I wish I could go back and buy blood soak, but you can't sell it and buy another one. It's so lame. I feel like you should be able to buy it from the same tree. Or if you never bought another one. Am I the only one with enhanced still? Well, you're gonna see it, Proxy. You will be seeing it. Boombus Kabrakin. I don't think Boombus Kabrakin would be good at all. You don't auto cancel at all on this character besides your one. But that's like. That's just not good, I don't think. I should defend left lane. Look at this wave. Gotta grab that wave. I'm gonna run out of power in this next fire. And it's gonna be sad. Grab another one of these. So for Pythags or Soul Gem? Oh, this? Yeah, I probably should, but I just want to keep testing it. I mean, it's going to make my poly hit, or my uh, my one hit harder with my poly and everything. It's going to hit pretty hard if I can hit it. On my way. Yes. Although, maybe I should just sell it because it's kind of screwing me over with the, the self damage. <laughs> I don't know if that really, it's kind of like Rain does. It just doesn't really make sense as an item just to... Like, there's other starter items that give you so much more and don't cost you anything, but this one doesn't even give you that much and it costs you, like, killing yourself, you know? Too easy. <laughs> I just wall him off from his ult. That's actually so funny. I'm just gonna sell it. I know I'm complaining a lot. It's just something like, you know, I want to test it because I never test it. Or under. I don't think they're gonna contest this, but who knows? You never know these days. People are crazy. What's up, Rumors? How are you? I mean, I don't... They could just lower how much damage it does to you. And maybe it could work. Or maybe make it so you can lifesteal it. I guess we can push. I've said this a few times, but isn't it funny how Wingblade makes you the... It gives you the most survivability against magical characters, even though it's the one with the least mag magical defense and it's the cheapest. I can probably just one-shot this mid-Phoenix. Why didn't I hit that harder? What the hell? Why are there three people here, by the way? Team. Just auto this for lifesteal. I don't think I can kill AMC. What? That didn't hit him? How did that not get him? I can heal off this though. They're getting that Phoenix because they have two people in mid. Just healing. I still have blink up. My ult's up in 20. Rumors, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, man. Welcome to the Fonzo family. Much appreciated. 
I can help this Loki if they rotate to him. <laughs> Their whole squad just comes wherever I am, I think. It's my blink down. Not again, dude. He's so fast. I hit him with the damage at least, though. That's Jing Tunnel. He is quite tanky. <laughs> Why does everybody just come wherever we're split pushing? Get out, Heim. No. Oh, that sucks. Enemies behind us. <coughs> oh, I'm dead. Dude, just what is going on? Sucks having to go spike for every game. Yeah, it definitely is kind of lame. Kind of pigeonholes builds and stuff. All right, let's get rid of this because it's just bad. <laughs> and then, honestly, I mean, I could go Pythax. I just lose a lot of power from doing that. I'm not going to have a lot of power, and then my poly isn't going to hit as hard. I don't know if I really want to sell anything. Wish there was an item that gave you power. And magical defense besides void stone and binding like there's really nothing and not even like void stone literally only gives you 40. kind of sucks it's, it's nice being pretty fast but i guess we can just do this see how this feels i think i'm not gonna have enough power to make this really worth it but 400 power i guess maybe it will if i get fire again this is a interesting game though but hopefully now that i have a an item that doesn't actively make me kill myself. Like, I'm not saying that metaphorically or in a weird way. I'm li it just literally does that. I will, uh, maybe I'll do a little bit more. Be a little bit stronger. About to say, did my auto hit that hard? But he just crit it. Oh, I'm dead. Help the boy. Oh my god, he just got a big low kill. Okay, be careful. <clears throat> These Jinkton ults are the only reason I'm dying. To be fair, they're not really threatening our backline at all, so... If I just play it slow, I can we can be fine because they literally just can't threaten our backline at all. A double shell and two arachne and Good TP. On my way. I'll the Maybe fire. I can get a 3k pop before this fire. Well, where would I go? Should go power, but I don't even... Enemy I don't know. Help. Guess I won't. I'll just Enemy go 500. Spot. I have Blink and Rific up. Oh, you rock! We'll grab this on the way as well, so we can chase him. Okay. Be right back. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Oh. 
Curses. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thanks, Dilute Gaming. Rock, but don't get cocky. Agreed. Holy poop, happy one year, Alec. Thanks for making the Smite community a better place. <laughs> oh my god, not this again. Oh, he missed anyway. Hopefully it was worth the sacrifice. Maybe. Maybe not. I just got fucking one shot. What are they so afraid of? I can hit these guys. After not playing Smite for three months, I just started again. So I thought it'd check in nice. with the most wholesome solo laner I know. Nice. So do you have the link to Ducky's stream? <laughs> That's a good one, Dirty Sack Master. Thanks for the five months in a row. Welcome back to the Fonzo family. The so troll, bro. I, I was, I just got one shot there. To be fair, my build's not the greatest for tanking, but we did a good amount of damage as well. And I, I thought that regardless, my sacrifice there would be good, just because I was gonna, I kind of inted for Janus, but he was for sure gonna die. So then it would just be a four v three, but then Loki died as well. Which way from Antle? That could have been decent. They did have three auto attackers though, so I think I think Witchblade's still fine to have late game in that scenario. 34k damage. Carried a little bit, actually. Nathan actually popped off there. Nathan on the Loki. Well done. But uh Obliterate obviously popped as well. I think that maybe we would have won sooner if I had sold that troll ass item sacrificial shroud, but you know, you gotta test stuff. Because if I am going to be playing Kraken tomorrow in the SPL, I really need to know what build I need to go. I need to get it right, right now. We get, get the build down now, you know. Oh.